Hey everybody, Mr. Brewer, Fish Bucks and Bullets. Um, I have a question for you. If someone were to ask you what's the funnest caliber to shoot, what would your answer be? <laughs> now, I think we all have different opinions and thoughts about uh, what makes different guns fun to shoot. Um, and I guess when I ask this question, I think more along the lines of what's a relaxing gun to shoot at the range that you enjoy that's not a serious thing it's not a super explosive thing but it's just plain fun to shoot and um, i've google searched it many times and you don't find a lot of content on that so i thought i would make a video to talk about not necessarily you know my final decision on what is the funnest gun to shoot but definitely one that ranks up there pretty high and may actually be my favorite and that is the 22 magnum this is a savage model 93 g i believe i believe it's a g it has the wood stock it's got i believe it's walnut stock i'm not sure it's hardwood stock we'll put it that way i like the classic look um i have a hard time with some of the composite or nylon stocks they're just see it so cheap um, I understand why gun manufacturers make guns with those stocks because they save money, I assume. Um, and a lot of people buy them and it doesn't affect accuracy. In fact, in fact, it may improve accuracy in some conditions, uh, from what I've heard. Um, this one still has a little bit of glue from the stickers. Uh, I need to use something to clean that off, but, uh, doesn't affect the shooting shootability. This one's got the Accu trigger, got the Buckhorn um, rear sights, and a nice post front sight that is adjustable. The rear sight is adjustable. Five round removable metal magazine. The red follower there. Um, it's got the um, safety here push forward for fire you can work the bolt with it on safety it's got a plastic butt pad or I wouldn't call it a butt pad I'd call it a butt plate uh, yeah Savage makes some decent stuff I like it um, I put pick it up for two hundred and sixty five dollars something like that at the local one of the local shops and uh, I bought it brand new of course at that price but it is uh, and I need to get a sling for it if I want to hunt with it enjoyable little rifle to shoot uh, what else can I tell you about it bullet ranges anywhere from 30 to 50 grains uh, can be shot out of there of course uh, I'm not shooting as fast as 17 HMR but I think it's around, oh, don't quote me on this. I think it's 1,700 to 1,800 feet per second, depending on what you're doing. Um, but yeah, it's just a great little gun and fun to shoot. And I'm looking forward to getting one in a Henry lever action because that will be even more fun to shoot. <laughs> this will be my more of a hunting rifle for longer range stuff like sage rats, um, coyote potentially i'd probably use something bigger for coyote um but uh, i have to drive a long ways to do that type of varmint hunting generally speaking so i don't get to do it much in fact I haven't actually specifically made a trip out to eastern oregon to do that uh, but i'm hoping to maybe in 2021 if things don't go downhill any further than they already have <laughs> but the trigger guard on this one is plastic. I don't care for that, but hey, when you're buying a $260 gun or whatever. And it's just a fun gun to shoot. Nothing too terribly serious. That's okay. It's okay. Um, I would have much preferred it be metal. Steel, aluminum, something. But it's got the sling swivel stud mounts here. Um and it is imported I'm not sure where they make them to be honest with you canada manufactured by savage arms uh, canada 
Lakefield something, Canada, Ontario. I'm not sure. I think that's what it says. Um, never really worried about it. Never thought about it. But I do like to uh, buy American stuff if possible. If if it's the right, if it's what I want. And <laughs> I don't exclusively buy American made stuff, but um, but uh, do appreciate that when it's possible. Um, now, why is the 22 Magnum? The funnest gun or the funnest caliber to shoot and this is obviously a rifle um, and I think I'm mainly talking about rifles here um, but why is a 22 Magnum rifle one of the most fun guns to shoot uh, for me it's relaxing because there's virtually no recoil but yet you feel like you're shooting a gun that has a little bit of power and uh, the ammunition is fairly inexpensive and they're pretty accurate and they can use to be they can use be used to hunt with to shoot targets and um, i don't recommend it but you can actually shoot these without um a long a rifle for sure anyway not a pistol but i've i've shot this comfortably without ear protection but i don't recommend that definitely um, i am wearing ear protection um, you can maybe see the orange foam earplugs in my ears and I recommend you always do that but it doesn't have a lot of muzzle blast um, but again it's accurate and you can um, you can feel the power of the round uh, but it's not overwhelming so that's just just some thoughts and observations about the 22 mag that I, I like to shoot it in a rifle it's just pleasant and um, and enjoyable to shoot the range or for hunting small game not anything bigger obviously I don't think it's legal for anything like big game like deer in in many states if any at all I haven't done my research on that but these are just uh, Hornady 30 grain uh, cartridges and I'm gonna load it up and shoot a few rounds for you I'm going to use my shooting stick just for stability purposes. Um, it's kind of just nice to have a little bit of a rest. Nothing serious. And just take a few shots. I notice that this range, which is about, I'm thinking, 20 yards, um, it does shoot about an inch high. So I have to inch at the base of the little, I'm shooting little chunks of clay targets that are blown up and just seeing if I can hit them. Um, but it's just uh, shooting a little bit high, and that's fine. Um, I want to get it out to 100 yards and do and probably put a scope on this. Um, I do like shooting the iron sights. It's a lot of fun, uh, particularly. But I want to get a lever action Henry, or probably a le lever action Henry, in the 22 mag, and keep definitely keep iron sights on that. In fact, I want the uh, Henry small game hunter with the Pete Skinner Pete sight. And I'll keep the iron sights on that, and I'll put a scope on this eventually. So that'll be fun. But anyway, enough talking, and let me do a little bit of shooting on what I consider one of the funnest calibers to shoot in a rifle. Here we go. Nailed it. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. I mean, obviously it's a it's a bolt action, so it slows you down and makes you appreciate each shot a little more. I do not have anything against uh, whatsoever against uh, semi-automatic rifles. Uh, they don't make a whole lot of them in 22 mag, but they are available. I believe Savage makes them, Full Corson makes them, um, Remington, and some old Rugers as well. Um, anyway, it just slows you down, and uh, it's a great caliber. It's a great cartridge that has just the right amount of power and accuracy.
and <laughs> big magazine, five rounds. Uh, they do sell them with seven rounds, maybe ten rounds. I think it's seven uh, Savage rounds. I need to buy a couple extra of those. Um, I do hope to take this out and do some varmint hunting sometime. Um, but for now, I'll just load it up to five and uh, shoot it here at the range. And I'll be happy with it. I'll have fun because it's one of the funnest calibers to shoot. Let me know what you think. Here's my... Uh, Hornady, Hornady 22 mag, 30 grain, VMAX, 50 rounds, baby. Picked these up just the other day here, December 2020, for more than I want to pay for them. They are, they were about uh, $18 a box. Why did I buy them? I don't know. I wanted to shoot, I guess. Seemed like the right thing to do at the, at the time. <laughs> I was on a ammo, <laughs> shopping spree bought some uh, 22 mag some nine millimeter which i was happy to find um and some 17 hmr because i found it and i said you know what i'm gonna buy it now i, sh I have guns for all three of those calibers so maybe pick some up and i'm gonna fire off a few more rounds for you and we will wrap this up. Safety. And that, my friends, is what I call planking. I'm not shooting at anything in particular, just some little chunks of clay targets over there. Hitting them pretty good. Aiming a bit low at this range. Um, so I will probably look into adjusting that when I get to the range at 100 yards or 50 yards even and just uh, figure out where it's hitting. And, or I may not worry about it at all if I'm gonna go ahead and put that scope on there. Um, I got a couple scopes, but I think they're more of big game scopes and you shouldn't put a big game scope on a rimfire rifle. My understanding is the reason for that is that the uh, um, parallax, uh, one of the adjustments on the, I don't, I don't remember what it is. One of the adjustments uh, doesn't allow you to focus as well on sh uh, shorter range, like between 50, 25 and 100 yards, 25 and 75 yards. Big game rifles have more, you know, you're shooting most of your big game between 50 and 250 yards probably. Um, so I guess they're just, uh, rimfire scopes are a little bit better adjusted for a little bit closer, which I do want. I want to be able to use my scope for 25 yards up to 200 yards. Um, I do like the Nikons for that, so maybe I'll see if there's a Nikon rimfire scope out there that will fit this well. Um, I like the Nikon scopes a bit. They're reasonably priced and good quality in my opinion. Um, I would really like a loop, loophole. I like loopholes a lot, made here in my home state, but uh, not necessarily something you have to do for, a, you know, the scope's going to cost almost as much as the gun, and I'm, I don't know, uh, we'll have to take our time and figure it out, but um, I got to get the bases uh, for it, because this comes drilled and tapped, but with, with no bases. Um, so I, I picked one up and I need to measure it and see if it's the right one. It was only like five bucks, so I picked it up and I'll see if that's going to work. Um, and then just little by little, probably put it together. No, no big rush. Um, got too many guns to shoot and too many guns to work on. <laughs> Not that you can have too many of those. Anyway, I think I've blabbered on enough. Um, hopefully you found some of this inter interesting, entertaining um hopefully you're sti sticking with me this far into this video this is one of my longer videos so far <laughs> um i don't know why but it is so uh, if you made it this far i really appreciate it uh hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and uh, hit the little bell button and when i make more 
uh, videos, you will get notification. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day, and keep shooting, folks. Mr. Brewer, Fish Bucks and Bullets, checking out.